This is Radio Republic. Okay, I'm here at Cali with the Blue Jean Junkies. Hey. Hey guys, thank you. What a great performance a while ago. Oh, thanks. 2015 has been a good year for you guys. I'm going to ask you guys a couple of... Uh, 2014, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask a couple of questions for my friends over here. Okay, um, here you go. What's one thing you guys are looking forward to, to 20, for 2015? Uh, more gigs, uh, progression of... Indi- uh, indivi- yeah, more gigs and releasing the second album and prog- individual progress. Uh, in our passion, in our craft, and you know, on each other's goals, yeah. that we may progress generally. Nice, man. You know, as a person, also. You guys, that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, same. I think we're all in the same line, so I think we all have the same goals. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, here's a good one. Your favorite local album that was released 2014. I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, what are, what are, what are, what I think maybe. Oh. I just heard the album of the Octaves going to Ed says it was my first time. I like it. I like it. I like it. Good one, good one. Aside from the fact that they have bought Chris has one of our songs in his studio. <laughs> but no, I dig it. It sounds in fact I was texting him while we were at Ed's and Nico just made me hear it. And uh, it sounds rock and roll country-ish, rockabilly-ish. And I like the guitar work, I like the songwriting, I like the attitude, that whole vibe, uh, I can tell that our roots are similar. Awesome. Okay, here's another one, guys. What is your most memorable gig in 2014 that you either played for or watched? Most memorable gig in 2014. Last one. This one, huh? This one, I guess. It was the biggest one for 2014. The biggest one I've seen was the Rolling Stones. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, okay, internationally, we saw the Stones in March, but um, locally, I think our gig that when we opened for Dishwala was nice because it was like, um, you know, it's been a long time since we were on a relatively big stage, so it was kind of nice being there. There's a lot of people. And then we got, like, you know, it's always nice to get complimented after a performance, and we got a lot of compliments that night, so it's kind of like, it's a nice pat on your back, you know. Yeah. This year also was a paradox for me because one of my huge influences, that's why I'm like this, is because of the Rolling Stones. And since I missed them last March, because I was in another place where I was enlightened, I wasn't in the hills of Maharishi, but I was enlightened. I wouldn't have become this kind of person if I wasn't there. So, you know, to miss something really good, I mean, it can't be all that bad. Sure, man. <laughs> um, you know, whatever it is, it was a paradox. I didn't see the stones, but I'm a better person now. So I'll see them somewhere down the line, you know, I'll see them further down the road. That's good, further man. up the road, you That's know, because life is always supposed to be a progress, man. If life is supposed to just get better and better every day. For sure. As I value, I'll speak for myself. As I value myself a day at a time, life will have a million opportunities. Wait, okay, another one, man. What's one act in the local scene you think is going to have a breakout 2015 year, except for you guys? Sorry, what's that? One act in the local scene you think is going to have a breakout year 2015? The Blue Jean Junkies, man! <laughs> I want to say Jaira Kahlo, but she's not releasing anything next year that we know of. I think Bullet. Uh, Bullet, Bullet, yeah. Bullet. Wilderness also, I think. Yeah, Wilderness. I don't know. I, I've been out. I don't know what's going on, man. That's like Blue Jean Junkies, man. Right? Hey! Kwan, man! Kwan, dude! Kwan, man! Oh, hey, last question, guys. Um, what is your hope for the Philippines in the future? So we're doing a very... Uh, uh, we're doing this show with Rock and... Very developmental, very, you know, very Filipino. What's your hope for the Philippines in the future, man? My, uh, you can answer. My hope for the Philippines is that gas prices continue to go down because if gas prices go down, then that means that the value of the peso goes up, even in the dollar. If the dollar goes down, the value of the peso goes up and everything will follow, even the music. Given that we're a third world country, but when it starts from that, that means the economy is doing good for the Philippines as the value of the Philippines goes up. Everything will follow. 
Thank you guys. That's the a power, to the power of music, man. Thank you guys. Thank you, Radio Republic. We're, We're the Blue Jean Junkies. Junkies. You can subscribe by clicking on the bottom here. Down there, man. Down there. For Radio Republic. Radio Republic.